Hello, Mackers, and welcome back to Ass Assassin's Creed. That joke's never gonna get old, is it? <laughs> right, hello. So, we left off uh, tripping our complete bulls off, if we have any, in uh, Valka's hut. So, I don't know what we're gonna be doing now. Let's have a look. It's still family matters. So, now we have to go speak to Ranvi. So, now we gotta go all the way back down again. So, yes, jump on my horse and let's go. <laughs> Just want to stop a minute and just to admire this as a landscape. I mean, like, wow. I mean, if it did look like that thousands of years ago, wow, what a place. There's smoke over there. I wonder what that is. But no, just beautiful, amazing. And if anybody's interested, I'm playing this on Xbox One because I have no money to buy anything better. <laughs> And we're finally here. That took quite a while. Let's go and speak to Randevi. They must be finished now. The king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. Mm. It should be safe to enter. You sure? I'll see him now. What? Oh, just, I'm ready no, just to face the thunder. I'll speak with <clears throat> the king now. Face the thunder. Excellent, King Stierbjorn. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... May the fourth be with you. May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. Guthormer. What a name. Cool. I like it. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? Possibly. I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? You'd think so. Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed. Do we have allies? We can't negotiate with brutes. Your diplomacy is cowardice. Well, diplomacy is hardly cowardice, but um, do we have allies? Do we have any allies to speak of? Or is that your excuse to do nothing? Oh, God's sake. I'm being a bit of a douchebag. Your confidence blinds you to so much in plain sight, Eivor. Mm -hmm. Day and night I toil to forge ties with clans to the north. Very soon you will see the fruits of my efforts. Only then will you understand. Is that all? Ooh. I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. Careful. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go! Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts... Oh, look out. Sigurd has come! Oh. Down at the docks, his ship is here! Look, okay. That's, that is, that's not my brother, though, is it? I think it's my half-brother, because... I think. I don't know. The prodigal prince. Um, nah. Yeah, let's... Let's go and see him by the dock then. At the dark of the bay, as I watch him roll away again. Mm. Oh, here we go. What did he get there? Hey, hey, careful with that one. Yeah, you bumbling oaf. Avon! 
Sigurd! What's up, bro? <laughs> ah, look at you, blood-soaked drinker. What, have you been worrying without me? Ah, oh, and you, salt-cured viking at... <laughs> I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. It's just the start. <laughs> Randvi, my dear wife. Your husband returns. Bringing gifts and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes. Basim mm. and Hytham. We met in Miklagart, and they showed me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation, and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. If you're standing safely beside him, he must like you. Ah, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. Mm. They're very assassin screed looking, aren't they? The, ship south. the cliched. They told us Eivor the wolf kissed was captured by Kyrtvis' man. They must have cut the tail short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. For that, your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing short of war will dislodge Kyrtve from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. I promise you. By the winter's end, the name Kurt with the Cruel will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. Oh, so it's not actually his brother that he just calls him that because, you know, My like... My son! Welcome home! Uh, father... Tonight we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, father, we will talk of Kyrtve and his clan, and how we may end their terror. Once oh, the eye roll. He has dogged us too long, shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It mm. ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. It almost seems like he is like avoiding it to some point, but as to why, we do find that out, I think. Rusland, we barreled down the Volga River, raiding as we went, shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. At Miklagard, we saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Biverest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa, past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors, and beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned, with riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes for Strengir. So take what you desire from my horn. For this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts anew. Skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eivor, come. I have something special for you. Okay. Something special, like what? You're gonna show me your bits. Why can I talk to these guys? You are Basim. Oh, you have right. a good memory. And you have no mead. Can I fix that? Sigurd spoke often of you on our journey. Called you his right arm, a celebrated warrior. I am honored to meet you. As am I. Basim. And how did you come to meet my brother? He sat down in Constantinople some months ago to rest and resupply, he told me. But I knew otherwise. Men with eyes that gleam like his are always up to something more. Hmm. I think he wished to raid the Hajj of Sophia. That sounds right. I will not bore you with the details of our meeting, but I liked your brother from the first. I saw something in him that captivated me, as if a forgotten memory of an old friendship had suddenly resurfaced. He has that effect on people. Enjoy your evening, Basim. There's a couple of people... Yeah, there's a couple of people over here that I can talk to, but... Or is that... No, that's Ranvi. What does she Randy. say? Eivor, have you paid a visit to Volka? I did. Yes. And? 
It is not something I, I trip my balls on. off. Wish oh, that's, that's a better way of saying it, but you know. Your bed will be warm tonight with your husband returned. That must Ooh, be a good feeling. Ooh, bed warm. It is a different mm. feeling. Warmer, but with less space to stretch my arms and legs. Are you not happy to see your husband return? Of Obviously course. not. But it has been so long he seems a stranger to me. Three winters we are married and he has been away for two. Can you not mm. rekindle the flame that once burned hot? <laughs> When he crawls into bed to warm me, as you say, it will be with farts and honeyed breath. <laughs> ah, we should all be so lucky. <laughs> What's the king gonna say then, right here? Let's have a look. Hello? Okay. Sigurd has raised the reputation of this clan to new heights, Lord. We could not have asked for a more joyous return. Oh, but we could have. Had Sigurd spent his last two winters here, in Fornberg, defending our lands, we might have been rid of Kjotve by now. You always said we needed more warriors to fight Kjotve. And for warriors, we need wealth, which Sigurd has brought us. The wealth he brings will not buy us an army. It only buys us time before our end. You talk like a man with one foot in Helheim. Have you no plan of your own to rid this land of our enemy? Will it fall to Sigurd and me? I do, but it will fall to you and Sigurd to accept it. And I must have your word that you will. If you so order it, my king, it will be done. You have my axe until the end. Hmm. We shall see. Right, so... That's just pledging my allegiance. That was having a bit of a chinwag with a uh, randvi. Is this the other guy? I can't remember his name now. Hytham. Yes, and you are Eivor. I am. I hope this ruckus does not overwhelm you. We tend to drink and talk at equal speed. Not at all. The wood smoke from your fire pit does sting the eyes, but the warmth is welcome. Of course. It must be rather warm where you live. Where I live changes from week to week, but always I am with my mentor, Basim. Your mentor? For what cause? A noble one. A cause as true as the world is old. But let us leave it at that for now. I understand. But if you hope to stay tight-lipped for the rest of the night, keep clear of techless meat. <laughs> ah, thank you for the warning. It will not be a problem. Okay, cool. There are other others to speak with. There is anybody else that I should. I don't know whether it really does anything to the story or not, but, you know, it's always nice to kind of, like, I don't know, get, get more sort of, um... In the character, I guess, so to speak. Right, let's just go and speak with Sigurd now and then. Progress. All right, Siggy boy. I thought long and hard on a gift worthy of you. You have snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Not yet. Drinks first. Yeah, let's get wankered. My first night in Fornberg in over two winters. It must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you on these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringul. Now drink. <laughs> oh, you would put Thor to shame. Well, I don't know about that. I should have gone easy on you. You make everything a challenge. This is strong stuff. Mm, let's boost his From ego. From drinking to breathing, you turn everything into a competition, brother. I must always be prepared. <laughs> True enough. It is good to have you back, Sigurd. Yes. I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basim, I regaled him with tales of our homeland, and it was then I felt a hard longing to return at once. Come. <laughs> this brings us to your gift. These excellent men were my shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. They are a clan not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. And now... I gift one of these secrets to you. 
weapon for the finest warrior I know. A thing of beauty, it looks harmless, Hytham looks offended. Um, I don't really want to insult them because they're kind of like, you know, a very secretive sort of clan, I guess, but uh, yeah, go thing of beauty. Beautiful craftsmanship. It is. What kind of smith makes a weapon like this? A good one. It is one. less a weapon than a tool. One we have used for centuries to fight injustice and evil. <laughs> Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist blade is a sacred tool. Do not tool. make a fetish out of cold metal, Haifa. What matters is the mind of the one who wields it. Please, try it on. The blade should ride on the underside of your arm to conceal it from your target. I have no wish to hide this, and I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. I like it. This is no mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to... A good start, Eivor. But you must learn how to use it effectively. Outside. This is not something for all eyes. Lead on. Hidden blade acquired. Nice. It proves a point like the Vikings were a bit sort of like pig-headed in the fact that she wants to, I say she, it's not really she, they want to put the blade on top instead of underneath because it wouldn't make no sense because when you pull your wrist back, if you were like up against somebody, you could basically kill them without you know, anybody knowing or stab them. And also, the two characters, this... Um, this clan of yours has a name. Indeed. But among the tenants of our creed is a vow to never reveal too much to outsiders. In time, you may learn more. Not here, where the walls and trees may have ears. I look forward to it. Here, let me lead you through our most basic techniques. Wielded with skill and care, our blade delivers a singular killing blow. As you near your target, find your window to strike. Timing is essential. Okay. Yeah, as I was going to say, is this um, Hytham and uh, Basim, I think it would be very cool if they did a game which was based just on those two. Obviously, nothing to do with involved with the Vikings, but maybe in their own lands, but as like a two-player, like almost like a co-op thing with both of them. I think that would be a really good idea. I don't know, perhaps they've already got something in the, in the lines already, but I'm not sure, so right, let's do this. Can I not do that guy first? No. Assassinate! Excellent! Yeah. I have not seen a blade so sharp. We have Some now. targets are trickier than others. Keep that in mind before you strike. Heavy targets. Some targets are resistant to. Oh, I don't. I don't. Oh. A decent attempt. What did I? Did I do it wrong? Take that one down from the ledge. What ledge? Oh, up there. Okay. Yeah. Right. I'm good at this game, aren't I? Where, where was it? Oh, here. Oh, I've got to get up there first, are oh, you idiot? Slicey! Exactly, just like that. Yeah, thanks. How What's next? Where are you? Down upon that target from above. Okay then. Well, I have to go back up then. Why can I not run? It's really annoying. I'll just walk everywhere, am I? Ready? Leap slice! Shinky! Use your surroundings when possible. Strike from that haystack, for instance. Yeah! A perfect strike! Hey, strike! What am I doing next? Does Eivor intend to join us? Not that I am aware. And why offer her the blade? Surely we have more. Hytham. Hush. Well, that's kind of quite cool. He said you offer her. the blade well. Let us leave Eivor to enjoy her gift in peace. Come. Okay. Eivor, let us walk to the docks and take in the night air. Okay. Let me just cut some... Uh, Dudes up first, because, uh, yeah. Yep, in the balls. Snassa Snate. Can I go now? Why can I not run? That's really annoying. Right, let's go and speak to Siggy Boy. What do you make of my new friends? They seem generous and menacing in equal measure. I know what you mean. And they have learning, too. 
They wield numbers and writing as if it were magic. Basim has shown me so much about the world, all of which I will share with you. Where are you going? When the time, I miss the smell of this land. Have you returned for good, or do you mean to join this Shadow Brotherhood? Leave all that aside, Ivor. Tonight we are family again. The here and now is what matters. Our kinship, our clan, our glory. I've missed you, brother. Your clear head and your courage. We have not had enough of both in recent months. <laughs> you flatter me, wolf kissed. Keep it up. From here to Valhalla, I will always be at your side, Sigurd. Always. This fjord has grown too small to contain me, or I too large. There is so much more beyond these stony fangs that rise around us. England, Ireland, Francia, all greener pastures, ripe for the plucking. Tomorrow, we make new war on Kyrtve, and reclaim the lands he took from us. And from there, we build a kingdom for us. I'm with you. Only say the word. Good. Get some rest, and return here at first light. The Prodigal Prince. Well, I'm sorry to say that this episode has been mostly dialogue so far. No real sort of fighting or um, getting into the uh, mix of it. The Nordnir have spoken. You will betray Sigurd. No, this is wrong. That cannot be right. Ah! Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. Ah! You will betray Sigurd. Who? Oh. What happened? Who's that? Shit. Chodvis warriors. Well, get after him then. Run. Where's he gone? There he is. He gonna die, he gonna die. I'm gonna slice him up a little bit. Did, 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 did assassinate. You did. not have come alone. I should find the others. Okay. Um, ooh, where would they be then? Or is that a stupid question? Ah, there they are, over there. I'm gonna get you all. I'm gonna slice. Oh, it's not. They're, they're the dummies. What? Um, find a killer kill of spies. Okay. Is he a spy? No. Is he a sp No, he's not a spy, is he? I don't understand. What, what am I missing? Where are these bloody spies, then? Why is... Why, why the hell is everybody just standing around doing nothing? I'm very, very confused. Find and kill all of Kyrtva's... Wait. Sunen, guide me. Oh, up there. Jesus Christ. Right, let's go up there, then. I just immediately assumed that they would be, like, in this area, but... No, I know nothing about dice. Um... Well, I don't know a little bit that they're dice and they have numbers on them, but apart from that, nothing else. <laughs> Stealthy taking down opponents. Stealthily, rather. God's sake, I can't read. One at a time, the best course of action. I mean, again, if you want to read this, it's up to you, because I mean, I've done all this stuff before, we so I know, I know what to do. With our report, while we can. We can right, I'm gonna, to can I jump from the cliff? Or we can wake him with Sigurd Stirbjörnsson's head. Which is better? Yep. All right. Kia! Slicey, slicey. Who the hell was he talking to? There's nobody else here. What? Kurtver's instructions. Tell me what you see and how many. Ships, warriors, supplies. Also note visits from the Jarls. The Jarls? Jarls. Jarls. And other important people. Learn what... You can and report back to me directly, Kyrdva. Is there anything else? Oh, yeah, like, just stand in the fire, you idiot. Okay, now let's just run in the snow a bit. Run in the snow, run in the snow, put it out, put it out. Run in the snow, run in the snow, it's very cold. Put it out. Is it out? Yeah, there's another guy. Oh, there is another guy. Okay. Snass estate! I would say that he should do, yep. So let's get back to it. We slidey. With each day we wait, Kyotve grows strong. We do not have the men to storm Kyotve's fortress. The losses would ruin us. The losses have ruined us, father. 
Until we cut off this serpent's head, it will poison us day by day, drop by drop. The poison has already polluted our waters. God save her. What happened? Spies in our camp. Three men sent by Chotve to kill us as we slept. I returned the favor. There, you see? This is what waiting brings. We must answer this insult. They came from Notfall, that wailing village under Kjotve's control. We hid him there. Burn it down before Kjotve learns his spies are dead. He may have sent more. I can search the village while you round up the crew. No need. I will send Hytham to search the area. You can rely on him while we are away. We? Do you mean to join us? <laughs> What's that about? <laughs> I have not been bred for Valhalla like you. But this will be far from my first battle. I do not like this, but I will not stop you. Oh god, there's a bit of a stare down. Why am I so covered in blood? I, I do not I lead my son into the same storm that follows you. Hard words there, hard words. Yeah, why am I so covered in blood? I'm absolutely covered in it. I only killed two dudes, I stabbed them with a knife. Right, before we travel into the unknown, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. So if you did enjoy this, please like, comment, subscribe, ding the bell, and hopefully I'll see you in the next episode of ASS. Assassin's Creed.